Welcome back to Vision Academy. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to enter data uh, for paired t-test in SPSS software. Also, I will uh, show you how to analyze and interpret data uh, for paired t-test in SPSS software. I will give you an instance uh, where we will apply paired t-test. Suppose a company has introduced uh, some of the new drug to the market. Now the company is uh, trying to measure the effectiveness of the new drug uh, on the patients. For this company will take the sample of patients uh, before uh, cureness sample of patient before applying the particular drug and after applying the particular drug. So now we will uh, measure the before and after situation the how the particular drug worked on a particular person. So for this kind of uh, instance we will apply paired t-test. Also we can have a before having a training after having a training work efficiency improvement in work efficiency we will measure the work efficiency so for that this kind of situation we will use paid t-test so before going for uh, entering or analyze data let us see what are the assumption of paired uh, uh, t-test look at here assumption the population of differences follow normal distribution obviously all parametric test must be normally distributed then only you can apply the parameter you can calculate parametric test so, and samples are not independent very very important in this case in the paired t-test you will uh, you will have to take at least two sample to make a pair uh, as i said you after and before training like that but those samples must not be independent independent variables they, then the, the those sample must be dependent variable dependent on its own there is no relationship between this sample to that sample that's very very important thing you must clear and size of both samples must be equal size of uh, both samples uh, you have uh, taken a uh, uh, before giving the drug after giving drug there are two sample in this case but size must be equal okay say for example you have given uh, you have taken a sample of 12 uh, people uh, 12 uh, employee before uh, giving training and after at, uh, giving training also the same 12 employee sample must be taken then before and after uh, in this uh, two situation the sample size must remain same okay dependent uh, variable must be uh, scale data it means interval or ratio scale data it must be there so let us consider a problem for this then look at here a group of 12 children was tested okay to find out how many digits they would repeat from memory after hearing them once so the the result is shared with us that child uh, there are 12 child in this uh, sample and before hearing them once the data before hearing them once and the data after hearing them once which means recall uh, after recalling so there are uh, this is a typical situation where we can apply a paired t-test okay so moving further so assuming the memories of children before and after practice session follows normal distribution we have to test we have to test whether there is a after making a memory uh, recall the memory is there any improved in the performance of children we have to test for this for that we have to formulate the hypothesis that null and alternative hypothesis before we proceeding to calculation the hypothesis for this uh, scenario i have formulated like this the in, in this case the null hypothesis there is a significant difference between the memories of children before and after practice session before to before uh, practice session to after practice session i say there is a significant difference okay and alternative hypothesis is opposite to this null hypothesis it says there is no significant difference between the memories of children before and after practice session so then uh, let us uh, move to enter the data in this business software okay since we have two independent variable in this case we will uh, enter the two uh, data in the spaces software that is first one before recall and after recall i will enter for before recall before recall and label then i will give the label that uh, memory of children before 
hearing the them once okay the there is no value for this and very importantly measure in the measure it must be scaled data okay now i will enter another data that after after hearing after hearing so same thing i have to copy here which is after case after hearing them once so since it is also dependent variable we have to keep it at a scale data okay now in the data view we have to enter the data for respected before recall memory before uh, recalling memory and after recalling memory the da data for uh, 12 children sample is uh, given here i have typed that in excel to make it uh, faster so i will copy that just and paste in the uh, space software the data copied here and uh, uh, recall after hearing also uh, copied uh, to the after hearing case and very importantly you have to consider there are only 12 sample in each before recalling and after recalling that's how the it, uh, it is a uh, fulfilling assumption of paired t test okay this is how you will enter data in a paired t test now we will move to analyze okay uh, analyze this uh, paired t test in sps software so for that as usually i will go i will start from analyze in the analyze since there are two sample in this case we have to compare means we will take decision by comparing means so i will go for compare means in the compare means look at here very carefully paired samples t test select that paired sample t test and look at here paired variables that pair one pair one you can take more many more pair in the pair one variable one variable two okay i will move to variable one for the pair one and i also move to variable two now since we have only two pair one pair here i can proceed further and very importantly you should concentrate on confidence interval you have to check at the problem what is the interval given in the problem which means a uh, significance level since there is no significance level in uh, given in this case i will uh, consider by default 5% level of significance which means is my if i get a 5% level of significance confidence interval will be 95% okay so i will click uh, continue and give okay now your output is ready the t test now you can see the uh, descriptive statistics for the two pair that mean of uh, memory before uh, hearing them once and uh, number of sample is 12 and standard deviation on standard error also and after hearing also you have the, the respected uh, the descriptive statistics and between paired sample correlation there is a strong positive correlation between uh, uh, these uh, pair before and after hearing them when them once and uh, we will move to the uh, paired sample test the output of paired sample test look at the values of t test this is the value of t test that uh, t is minus 3.386 and uh, significance level in this case is 0 0.06 which means this is a p value based on p value also we will take decision in the case of SPSS software we have to prefer for p value only now compared to the problem uh, the text per problem whether we have same result here too so in the text material so we have minus 3.44 which means rounded up here okay rounded up here so now let us calculate the, the, the result it means the result is same i am trying on theory to practical the, i am using book material to calculate in a space software most of the people are not uh, able to try in this way i used to make easy for this uh, for the academician to think in this way as we are taking decision based on the significance level which means p value here look at the p value p value is uh, that means significance level is 0 0.006 but our significance level is 5% 5% and confidence interval is as you know 95% which means significance level is 5% which means that the data we will have here p value must be greater than 0 0.00 
0.05 but the value he is uh, here is sorry 0, 0.0 single 0 5 but the value here is 0 0.006 which means the which is a less than p value the less than significance level so if the p value is greater than significance level only we are going to accept the uh, null hypothesis uh, in this case we have to reject the null hypothesis because p value is lesser than significance level so in the 5 percent level of significance we are converted into 100 percent and the p value is 0 0.06 so let us uh, look into the text material what the decision they have taken then uh, in this case they have compared with the book uh, calculated value with uh, table value uh, they have seen a table value for the calculating this the calculated value is minus 3.44 and uh, table value is minus 1.796 which means which lies in rejection reason so usually we have to reject this null hypothesis okay the decision taken in the either side is uh, same just i wanted to show you so which means the, what is our uh, uh, hypothesis are we going to accept the hypothesis no there is a significant uh, there is no sufficient evidence to support there is a significant difference between the memories of children before and after the uh, after practicing session that means there is no significant difference we are going to say that there is no significant difference between memories of children before and after practice session so thank you so much for watching please do subscribe to my vision academy youtube channel thank you so much